This particular question, number 12, um, it wants us to calculate the margin of error. Remember, this notation stands for the z-score that has uh, the area alpha divided by 2 um, to the right and left of it uh, in the tails. Basically, remember, this notation is for the tails of a distribution. Okay, and then this is the standard deviation of the population. This is your sample size. All right, if the necessary requirements are satisfied. All right, confidence level is 90%. This 90% gives us the Z alpha, gives us a way to find it. All right, so that part's done, yes. Sample size is N equals 75. That's this part. So, yeah, that's done. And then the standard deviation of the population is 13. So that gives us that. So everything that's unknown, this, this, and this, uh, we're given enough information to find them. So the necessary requirements are satisfied. All right, now it wants us to find it. All right, to find it, First, we need to find out what this Z alpha over 2 is. All right, now remember, inverse norm does Z alpha. All right, so if we come down here, we select inverse norm again. Why is it inverse norm? Because we're given an area or a percentage, and we're trying to find a Z score. All right, now how do you find Z alpha? You have to subtract this as a decimal from 1, and then divide it by 2. So we're subtracting it from 1, 1 minus this is a decimal is 0.9 and then we divide it by 2 that gives us Z alpha All right. uh, there's the negative form of the number again we don't we we're just going to take the positive form of it so 1.645 the three decimal places alright now what does it say to do with that number it says to take that number and multiply it by the standard deviation of the square root of the sample size Right, well, there's the 13 is the standard deviation. If we divide that by the square root of 75, the sample size, oops, 75, then we get this times this number. And again, don't worry about the negative sign. So 1.645 to three decimal places. So there's our number, 2.4693 to three decimal places. Uh, the next number is three here, so 2.469. Alright, and what have we just found? We found the margin of error. This is what we add or, sub add or subtract to um, the middle number uh, in, the, in the confidence interval. So if we knew um, what the the sample mean was, we know what to add, add or subtract to the number.